So, the feed fuse, it goes directly to the fan, is usually located here, at that burnt one. I bought the truck like this, I'm trying to get it back together, fixed. There's a 30 amps goes here, and it's only hot when it's on run. You have to turn the key on, so you have a 12 volt going to the fan. Now, the control circuit only goes from the side of ground, but the blower fan always have a 12 volt. So this is your uh, HVAC electrical, so the blower motor will always receive it uh, 12 volt through the brown or orange wire is coming from the 30 amp underneath the dashboard. Now how do we control the blower and the ground side is goes comes from here and it goes through the switch and also through the blower resistor. We have the control the speed uh, from low to high and we got off switch and everything um, what wires goes here what it what what is part of circuit that goes here and where does it go so so to control the speed you got this thing it plugs in there back now there is the black wire I have it disconnected for my repair but I'm not gonna talk about the repair I'm just gonna talk about it. anyway that black wire there brings the ground so them two three different colors they serve for the selection of which resistance that part of them wires that go right toward the dash behind the firewall behind the dashboard you will find the uh variable resistor uh circuit and it actually in every in every speed you actually linking the ground, which is a black wire, to an accordingly one of the other colors to a certain resistance. And that variable resistance will create a variable in voltage and therefore a variable vo voltage across the blower fan, variable speed. So that's what you have here. And you know for sure, and you have a problem, you know for sure the brown or orange wire is always going to have a 12 volt as, as long as the ignition is on now how does the speed varies it's because the blower resistor is actually hooked up in series with the blower motor so the more resistance you have here if you add up the bottom the top and the middle ones so the more voltage drop you're going to have across the blower motor so you have more voltage across the blower less voltage across the uh, blower motor and how do we select how many resistance we go through is through the switch when you have the switch on the off position you kind of disconnect the whole uh, black wire from the ground so the motor will never spin now if you let's say you hooked up you turned on on um, speed number one and you have this wire is hooked up to the ground the bottom one so and that one actually goes through all resistance so you have a maximum amount of resistance maximum voltage drop so the least voltage drop you have across the blower motor and then it goes slow and then it's the same if you go to speed number two so you are faster number three you're faster let's say number two is this here but you still skipped the bottom one so the bottom one gets skipped so you got less voltage a little bit more voltage a lot around the blower when you have the mass selected so the switch is actually hooked up straight to to this wire and that wire is actually going to skip the blower resistor we don't need any resistance we need maximum voltage we go straight from the ground to the blower we give a blower a maximum voltage that is supplied by the time 12 volt well the time has been running the truck we have 13 volt between 13 and 14 now 
Well, the rest of the circuit them, is uh, the air conditioning. Uh, resistors are actually located where that leaf piece of leaf is. I'm really sorry about the a bunch of wiring and shit going on in my truck. I bolted it like this and it all messed up. So down there, so this is the blower. It's right here. And down there, far away from here, right there. Alright, we got it folks. And then a little eight millimeter, well a quarter inch, uh, I mean five. 16 I guess not that's what you knew take it off and replace in most cases if you have only one speed the fastest it's usually that resistor is messed out and uh, them wires from the selector they go straight to there and definitely you got your blower fan that's fed straight from the fuse and you have the ground that comes from the control circuit so this is generally what kind of wires you have and now when you have an air conditioning system a compressor and an air conditioning system as you know that's half of the circuit we'll talk about that another day and uh, this kind of give you an insight on what's going on, on on how simple it is and kind of helps you diagnose stuff I got a lot of loose stuff actually this is the switch for the air conditioners loose.